the French Alps, mystical, mesmerising and moody. Every day, thousands of hikers, extreme sports people and alpinists make their way to these mountains to conquer their peaks. But the Alps are changing. The glaciers that used to sweep down to the valleys below are melting. In some places, they are vanishing. Ice scientists are at the forefront of measuring and monitoring these glaciers. It's important and dangerous work. Their office for today is Glacier du Tucane, 3,500 metres high on the north face of Mont Blanc. We try to set up the LIDAR instrument in order to make uh, topographic measurements of this glacier. These scientists also measure the temperature of the glacier. What they are finding is astounding. The base of the glacier near the bedrock is at minus two degrees. In the future, with the climate warming and with the ice temperature rising, the glacier could become temperate at the melting point. The work these scientists are doing on this mountain and glaciers like Takama is important not just to understand how much more this glacier will heat up, but because it has a bearing on towns like Chamonix uh, down here, which is one of the most recognised extreme sports centres in the world. If this glacier heats up, it could threaten villages like Chamonix. As we filmed, the glacier began to break away, not once, but three times within an hour, further evidence of the danger it presents. Almost 80 million people visit the French Alps every year, generating close to $58 billion in turnover and providing around 12% of jobs. On this graph, we can see directly an increase of melting since 1980 and another increase of melting since 2003. And this melting, this increase of melting is directly related to climate change, to climate warming. At one of the world's oldest scientific ice institutions, the research allows the scientists to mitigate risk. With global warming and the fact that this glacier shrinks and gets warmer, there could be new lakes forming and these lakes could uh, collapse and then produce floods, uh, destroying towns. Uh, the glacier can slip on its bedrock and then again can create avalanches and destroy uh, uh, towns below that. The institute says these sorts of events are not isolated. Research shows climate change is causing glacier melt and water shortages in the Andes. And in Antarctica, melting ice sheets are resulting in rising sea levels. Craig Leeson, Al Jazeera, Mont Blanc.